William Allen here for GetMoreSports.com. And what a game between Kentucky and Louisville. Uh, a big-time rivalry matchup. And really, it was the only game of significance this weekend. The weekend after Christmas is always kind of a, a hangover weekend. Uh, we get a lot of tournaments leading up to this weekend. And so it wasn't uh, necessarily going to be an exciting weekend unless this game proved to be worth the hype. And in many ways, it absolutely was. What a wild game. Uh, Louisville really struggling in the first half to contain Kentucky on defense. Uh, they trail by eight going into the half. They give up 44 points. So a Kentucky offense that really hasn't shown the ability to be especially explosive against top competition. And yet, they trail by eight. And yet, they're getting no help from anybody outside of their two transfers, Trey Lewis and Diamond Lee. So coming into the second half, where was Louisville going to go? Well, I think the emergence here of Donovan Mitchell uh, is really important for them moving forward. They need a third score with the injuries that they have, and he could be that for them. Uh, as good as Louisville was at times in the second half, they simply couldn't get enough stops. And one of the reasons why they couldn't get enough stops is because Kentucky had a man by the name of Tyler Ewis. The sophomore point guard had his best game of the year, probably his best game uh, since joining Kentucky uh a year and a half ago, what I saw out of him was finally someone stepping up and taking the shots that he needed to take, knocking them down, and then, of course, running the team, completely controlling the game with his ball handling. Anytime Louisville tried to press, he broke it down. He was absolutely the player of the game, and he kind of showed what we all thought he could be coming into this season. Uh, obviously, the contributions of everybody else around Kentucky was big as well because Jamal Murray was really bad. 3 for 12 from the field. Scott Labasieri has proven to be an absolute non-factor in college basketball this season. I think it's almost time for us to just stop talking about him altogether because when you have other guys on this team like Alex Poitras, uh, Marcus Lee, and Dominique Hawkins giving solid contributions to the Wildcats, we need to focus on them. This was a team effort for Kentucky, no doubt, and it showed them kind of rebounding from their recent struggles. But I think this was also finally the kind of statement from Tyler Eulis that we've been waiting for all season.